Hi everyone, welcome. So, Bark Baba Atomic Research Center is inviting applications for the Technical Officer C and Stipendary Trainee. Both posts are available for chemistry aspirants. So, one post is for MSc Chemistry and second post is for BSc Chemistry. That is the eligibility. And I am going to give you the direct link of this uh, site uh, in the description. You can check there. So, first of all, if you come here, if you come to this page, you can see here the online application notification. And if you click here, so this window will open. Right? So, this window will open. And here, clearly mentioned that opening date and time for sub submission of online application that is 24th April 2023 that means tomorrow and the closing date is 22nd May 2023 right so from tomorrow itself so the registration will start so if you see the direct recruitment post is there and the training scheme and this technical officer C this is the post for chemistry aspirants right the eligibility for this post is MSc Chemistry and here if you see stipend rate training post the category 1 and category 2 two categories are there the first category 1 post is for the chemistry aspirants and this eligibility is BSc Chemistry right so if you see this technical officer post total number of vacancies are 181 in technical officer of all subjects right and the level 10 pay scale and uh, your salary is 56,100. This is the pay scale, right? And the, for the category one uh, stipendary trainee, 26,000. Uh, for the first year, 24,000. And the second year is 26,000. So total vacancy is 1216 again, right? Okay. So if you see, uh, so the first one here for in the direct recruitment, technical officer post, if you see, in this technical officer posts, here if you see, MSc is the eligibility, right? Online applications are invited for the post of technical officer, the following disciplines, educational and quali educational qualifications such as MSc from a recognized university. Here, if you see the for the chemistry aspirants, SC1, OBC3, uh, this unreserved five, total posts are nine. So for this technical officer posts, so total posts are nine for the chemistry aspirants and the eligibility MSc chemistry and you must have 60% marks in MSc, right? Your percentage should be 60%, minimum 60% marks you should have. Next one is, uh, next two posts are not for you in the direct recruitment. Scientific assistant B post is there, it is not for us. And technician B is not for us. And if you go to training scheme, right? Training post and here again, uh, for the chemistry aspirants, posts are there, 24 posts for SC, 14 posts for ST, 64 posts for OBC, 19 posts EWS, 52 for unreserved, total 169. So these posts are very, very high. Okay. And the qualification is the eligibility criteria, BSc chemistry with chemistry as major subject and physics, mathematics, statistics, biology as a subsidiary subjects or BSc with physics, chemistry and mathematics are subjects with equal weightage. Even if you are the candidate who is with just physics, chemistry and mathematics background and if you have the BSc, then you can apply for this post and here also you have to have 60% minimum marks, right? So this is for the next stipendary training post. And if you just go down like this, uh, next important thing, if you see just wait mm, <clears throat> age limit okay as an closing date of application that means 22nd may if you see so for the technical officer c the minimum age limit is 18 and, and the maximum age limit is 35 right candidate must have been born not earlier than 23 5 1988 and not later than 22 5 2005 okay so next training scheme that is the category one so this is the post of us so the minimum age limit is 19 and the maximum age limit is 24 candidate must have been born not earlier than 23 5 1999 and not later than 22 5 2004 okay next <clears throat> next important things we have to see technical officer c 
selection will be on the basis of performance in interview in case the response is more this center reserves the right to restrict the number of candidates to be called for the interview by conducting computer based screening test in the concerned discipline on all india basis if the crowd is high then they will conduct one computer based test otherwise they will call for the interview the decision of the center in this regard will be final right so if you see this the computer based test will be conducted on all india basis for stage 1 preliminary test stage 2 advanced test for the concerned trade in a single session right if they will conduct one computer based test so this will be of three parts actually however the evaluation of stage 2 advanced test will be carried out only of those candidates qualified in the stage 1 preliminary test so totally three tests are there first of all you have to qualify this preliminary test if you qualify this preliminary test they will they will call you for the advanced test so after advanced test you will have one skill test okay so what is this first of all if you see the preliminary test mathematics science and general awareness total 50 multiple choice questions are there choice of four options one hour duration okay they will give you one hour duration and total 50 multiple choice question, choice questions are there mathematics 20 questions science 20 questions and general awareness 20 questions three marks will be awarded for each correct answer and one mark will be de deducted for each incorrect that means minus 1 is there negative marking okay negative marking is minus 1 if you qualify this preliminary test then all candidates will less than 40% in general category and less than 30% in reserved category will be screened out right so you will be called for the advanced test and in this advanced test the test will comprise of again 50 multiple choice questions of 2 hours duration now they will give you 50 multiple choice questions again but the duration is 2 hours now right so again 3 marks for each correct answer for every question 3 marks and the negative marking is one again right so merit list of candidates will be prepared after stage 2 this test after this test merit list will be prepared based on the scores obtained in stage 2 only based on the stage 2 only they will give you the merit list they will provide the merit list so this advanced test is very very important for all the candidates if you want to write the test all candidates with less than 30% in general category and less than 20% in reserved category will be screened out so last test is skill test the number of candidates shortlisted for skill test will depend upon the number of candidates qualifying qualifying for stage 2 but will not exceed 4 to 5 times the number of vacancies in each trade right if you qualify this advanced advanced test they will call you for this skill test the skill test will be based on co and no go basis right so based upon the merit list prepared after stage 2 advanced test candidates will be shortlisted for the stage 3 right so you have totally three stages right so next one is um, next important how to apply you have to go through this uh, link okay they provided one link here so you have to go through this link and you have to apply for this post okay so remaining everything is easy you can easily apply for this post if you have any if you are finding any difficulty in applying so please let me know i will try to make a video uh, on the procedure to apply for this post right so that's all thank you so much for watching